So in, in this video, we are going to see the overlays concept. Uh, so what is overlays? That is mainly uh, used in memory management where uh, uh, if the user process is uh, process and requires more space than the existing main memory space. How it will be handled? Because already we have seen uh, uh, how much is the user space that much must be in the physical memory for it to be executed. Suppose the user space is more than the main memory. How it can be executed in the main memory? So in the previous years, a uh, concept called overlays is used. So what is that overlay? That's what we are going to see here. To enable a process to be larger than the amount of, so this gives some freedom for the user to write a program which is more than the physical memory. So to enable a process to be larger than the amount of memory allocated to it, we can use overlays. So how, what is the idea? The idea is to keep in memory only the needed program. What are the programs needed? Only that program, only that routine can be kept in the main memory. So after the execution, those can be removed and then uh, other routines can be used which are all needed at that at that point of time. So let us, as an example, we'll see a two pass assembler. Uh, here two pass means after the execution of one pass only, the second pass will execute. So in that case, let us consider the available memory, main memory. Now we have after occupying the operating system, other user spaces and all. Suppose for this two pass user, one day the available memory is 150 KB. How we are going to efficiently use this? Whereas the user thing is 200 KB. This uh, total assembler will consist of 200 KB. So for example, pass 1 consists of 70 KB. Pass 2 is 80. Symbol table which is generated for by both pass 1 and pass 2. Will, it is common to both. So 20 KB as well as common routine is 30 KB. If we total all these things, we get 200 KB. But we have only available memory is only 150 KB. So how to execute this 200 KB two pass assembler in this 150 KB? That's a challenge. So how we are going to solve this? If only 150 KB is available. So now pass one need 70 KB, then 20 KB, 30 KB. So plus 10 KB is for overlaid, uh, that is uh, overlay driver. So what is this overlay driver? This is some 10 KB. I'll come to that. What is that overlay driver? So here, let us imagine 70, 20, 30, 10. So if you add all these things, we have 130 KB. Then for pass 2, 80, 20, 30 plus that overlay driver. Space occupied by that overlay driver. It is a software. So that's, uh, that occupies some 10 KB. Imagine. So if you put together, if you add this in 140 KB and this is 130 KB. Already I told you, two pass means it will do one pass at one time. But simple table common routines overlay driver are needed for both pass 1 and pass 2. But after execution of pass 1 only, pass 2 will get executed. So if we split that, like this, the necessary thing which are needed for this is this, plus that pass 1. Uh, same way here also. So if you add this and this and separately 130 KB. Now we are, since we have only 150 KB, still our pass 1 needs only 130 KB and pass 2 needs 140 KB. After executing pass 1, we can remove this pass 1 and then after after that, we can load this pass to make this pass through to execute in the available 150 KB. So, if we generally add, this will add up to 200 KB. But if we split it as pass 1 and pass 2 and only the necessary thing we are execute, then we will be able to run it easily. So, this we call as overlays. So, here we call this as a two overlays. Overlay A is to be pass 1, symbol table, common routine, overlay B is to be there. So here we have two overlays. So if we take the symbol, let us take this as a uh, main memory where symbol table is loaded, common routine is loaded and here I have given the respective memory space also overlay driver. Then when pass one is run, we load it into the main memory, execute all these things. Then this will be removed and then pass two will be loaded in the space. Already all these things have occupied space. Now it is executed. So within 140 and 130 KB, we were able to execute this and this is said to be the overlay. So overlay is a technique to run a program that is bigger than the size of the main. Yes, when you add all these things, it will be bigger than the main memory. There is 150 KB only available. But if you add all these things, we get 
even including past and past, we get 200 KB. So, to overlay is a technique to run a program, which is a 200 KB now, that is bigger than the size of the physical memory, which is nothing but 150 KB available by keeping only those instructions and data that are needed at any given time. So, divide the program into modules in such a way that not all modules need to be in the memory. So you divide the program into modules and whichever module is needed at that point of time, only those things are loaded. And after execution, they can be removed and the respective needed module can be loaded. So this is called overlay. So the advantage is reduce the memory requirement, reduce the time requirement. But the disadvantage is overlay. If the user has to write a overlay driver because it is not the headache of the operating system. It is head of the user. They have to take care of writing the overlay driver for their program. And then only the programmer needs how much memory needed for his program. So overlap map must be, it may must be specified by the programmer. The programmers must know all the memory management requirement. And key overlap module must be completely disjoint. It should not be joined with it. So any output from this should not be read, uh, or any one module should not be connected with the other module. That is very much needed. Programming design of overlay structure is complex and not possible in all cases.